Good morning, everybody. It's Linda here at Paisley Farm. Just wanted to show you our dragon fruit this morning and give you a little update. These are our dragon fruit that we ship out now. Um, they're a little over $24, and you get anywhere from 15 to 20, 10 to 20 dragon fruit in each block. We start these from seed. We start out by putting them in the 42 mm cocoa core. So I'm getting here that I can separate out and show you real quick. Okay. So we start them out like this. We separate the seeds a few times. You want to make sure that you get plenty of plants but that they have room to grow. Then when they get so big, which is about this size right here, usually a little bit smaller, we then transplant them in the 4x4x4 rock wool grown in media where they can continue to root and have room to grow. And as you can see, they grow very well in it. Get nice and tall and you have lots of plants in there. So when you buy one, you're going to get one of these in a box. It's packaged in the box and there's paper towels around the plant to protect your hands when you put your hands in there. Please make sure that you're careful, even though they are tiny, like kind of like fuzzy, like grandfather cactus fuzzy thorns. You can still get pricked in your fingers and they can stick in there and you have to get them pulled out. So, you know, with a little pair of tweezers. So just be use caution when you do it. They're not big enough to have them separated far enough for you to be able to put your hands in there, so just be cautious when they use them. So you can see those are some of the smaller ones we just planted. And they grow to this size. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you and I'm going to show you mine that I started the same way. Um, put in a pot and then plant it into the ground and I'll show you how big they are. It's been about, I'd say about from pot to the ground between two and four months. I have them in my bird sanctuary, so if you want to give me a second, I'll take you over there and show you what they look like now. And here you have my dragon fruit now. As you can see, one of the markers for the driveway, it's about three foot tall, four foot tall. And the plant is almost as tall as that. It grows babies off the sides of them. As you can see, these start out as little, like, tiny niblets. And they'll either fall to the ground and start a new plant, like this one this one or they'll grow off and continue to climb um, I'm tying mine up as you can see they can ground crawl they will grow roots from all these little places here where the, those are and the little breaks in the plant like where the points come up right here and they will root into anything that's in their path whether it's a pot or um, the ground and they'll continue to grow you can grow them into a tree or a plant They grow very nice and very quickly. And there's another one over here. What I did with mine is I didn't actually separate them out. I just kind of took them out and put them in the ground. You can separate them and plant them individually. But I wanted mine to grow up my little trellis here. And there's another one. See how tall that one is now? Almost to the top of the trellis. And then we have our baby over here. And there we go. So that's our dragon fruit. And that's what you can expect yours to do when you get them. We don't use fertilizer. We Use a little bit of mushroom soil with sand. Full sun in the morning, shade in the afternoon, or filtered sun is what they call. And they grow like a champ. So if you guys enjoyed, thank you so much. And you'll have a wonderful day. Have a, have a happy Sunday. And this is Linda. I'll talk to you later. Thanks.